So, with this being said, right, with this being said, my sister said that seeing Kamala Harris, you know, get sworn in and everything was very, very important, very, like, amazing because first woman in there and everything like that, right? So, if you think that was a beautiful moment, if you think that was an amazing moment and a powerful moment, shouldn't you kind of bask in the, in the, like, glory or bask in the like accomplishment and everything of this like house of representatives for new mexico i believe that's what it was is filled with women it's the majority of the house is women now that's powerful can't deny that at all so house of representatives Women hold majority in the House of Representatives in New Mexico. Women empowerment. Stand up, bro. Stand up. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is historic, y'all. It's being made for the first time in our state. Women are the majority members in the House of Representatives. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live with more. Rachel. Just out of 70 state reps, women now make up 37 of them. It's exciting, you know, it's exciting to, to see what's happening. And, and I do, I truly believe that women get more done. We, um, we just, we have passion about, about the bills we carry, we fight for them. And we're very deliberate on, on the bills that, that we present. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited about working with more women. Obviously, I'm very excited. I'm very happy that New Mexican voters trust women to make decisions that are affecting our families, you know, whether that's uh, jobs, education, healthcare. I love that they're listening to women so that we are now providing our skills and our, our experiences to these conversations. 28 women are Democrats, followed by eight Republicans and one independent. Women in the House hold key positions, like the majority floor leader. Women are also chairs and vice chairs of House committees. We asked professors and political analysts on what this means to have the majority members being female. And the research on this is pretty clear that you tend to have much more compromise, uh, much more of a, a civil approach to policy making with a greater number of women. And so when you get to that critical threshold, you should expect to see different outcomes. So it brings in new perspective to the debate over what are problems in the first place and how to look at sort of at different angles and different views of particular problems. Those who have studied women in legislative roles say they are more likely to prioritize issues related to women like paid family leave, child care, and even abortion. Now, to this day, there has never been a female speaker in the New Mexico House, but women have still come a long way. Just 10 years ago, the Roundhouse finally built a women's bathroom nearby the House Members Lounge. Jess. Wow, only 10 years ago. Okay, okay. But know what? Like I said, historic female hold the majority of the House of Representatives in New Mexico. Bro, like they were saying in there, this is showing that New Mexico as a state, we are putting our faith in women, right? We are, we're letting them be the ones to pass these bills, look over them and everything like that. It's for a reason, right? This is a day and age where women empowerment is very strong, right? No more of this masculinity type stuff, none of that. I think this is a great way great transition into 2021 right because know what like historic we are doing something yes we have not had a speaker of the house yet but know what if this trend keeps going i'm pretty sure it's going to happen pretty soon like 10 years ago they barely built a women's restroom to me that don't make no sense but i mean it is America. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens. But know what? This is historic, right? Because you know what? I saw that my sister went and um, she talked about um, tears coming down her face seeing um, the inauguration with Kamala Harris. This, I mean, I know it's not to that grand stage of vice president at all, but... 
this is very important, right? This is local. This is a majority of women hold a place in the House of Representatives in New Mexico. That is very, very important, very historic, right? You can't take it away. It's something that has not been done yet in New Mexico. Very important. Like they were saying, this shows that we have faith in the women here in the state. So I know some people may just try to argue. They may just try to say whatever comes to their mind. I understand that. But, but this is important. Very, very important. So know what, man? We're making history. We're continuing to do amazing things.